Hi, I'm Josh Kettleson. And I'm Christo Schultz. So Josh, insurance is a topic that you and I discuss with clients yeah. a lot. And, uh, and there's, uh, there's a lot of different types of insurance, and, sure. but everyone's situation is different. What are your thoughts on using life insurance and, and how it can be utilized? You know, life insurance is the passing of risk. It's the risk that you're not going to live long enough to achieve your financial goals. Let me give you an example. If you need to save a million dollars before you're 65, and you start this diligent program when you're 25 years old to save X amount of dollars per month to get to that million dollars, because you know that's what you, your, your newlywed spouse, uh, your future children are going to need to get from 65 to 85. But if you pass away at 35, uh, your spouse that you leave behind or your children that you leave behind are going to still need that million dollars. But they just lost, perhaps, uh, a substantial income earner in the family. Uh, either way, it's, you're going to lose half the income you've had. Life insurance is a very affordable way for most people to say, no matter what, I'm going to achieve that million dollar goal. A good way of doing that is, say, is buying something like a term life insurance policy. You're 30 years old, you need to make it to 65, you get a 30 year term life insurance policy. If something happens to you before then, your financial goals are paid for. Uh, if something, uh, if you go that distance and you make it to 30, uh, some life insurance will let you convert that so you can keep it for the rest of your life. Or you can say, I don't have to pay those premiums anymore because I don't have the risk anymore because right. I've, sa I've saved the money. Yep. So uh, life insurance is not about the next generation getting rich by any means. Mm -hmm. It's about paying the bills and and fulfilling goals that you you would have otherwise wanted to obtain. Yep. And you know a common a common thing that I see with regards to people and that I always like to tell individuals that I'm working with is that life insurance can be flexible and should change as your life changes. And so kind of like you pointed out with regards to a 30 year old likely your assets are going to be in a much different place when you're 30 years old versus when you're 60. And so having a million dollars of coverage then makes a lot more sense than having it when you're 60 because at that point Hopefully you've saved up enough and your family's in a good enough financial standpoint to withstand your passing. Um, and so I often like to put that because there are there are insurance policies that can stay in place for your entire life. And for some individuals that does make that does make sense. Um, but for a, ma a vast majority, life insurance is a tool, just like any investment. Um, and and it should be used accordingly and, and changed as life changes. I tell you something that somewhat irritates me is when people speak in absolutes in our industry. And there are some very loud personalities out there that say term insurance is the only insurance you should ever look into mm -hmm. because it's cheaper uh, and it gets you, like I said earlier, to a set date uh, to which you should have achieved your financial goal otherwise. Uh, on the other hand, there are other types of insurance policies that you can buy right now and keep them for the rest of your life. Uh, is there a tried and true, this is a good, this is bad, approach to insurance yeah there's not and the reason is that's why they still sell both of them yeah yeah <laughs> uh, every individual is different i would say you know the the whole life policies that, that we were discussing earlier that do you start off at this and it's going to stay throughout your entire life they're great for people that they want to have that security want to be able to know that they can pass on this to a spouse a child a charity even sure um, and it will never go away and fall out of place it also gives them a guaranteed saving strategy forces them to save yeah. if you will um, and so, so no, there's not a one size fits all. I would say that for the vast majority, term does make sense. But the, the reason they sell whole life and other policies that stay in place forever is because there are individuals that it makes sense for and do need. So no, there are no certainties with regards to life insurance. Chris, so for the folks who are watching who have accumulated a great deal of wealth, life insurance policies, in particular whole life insurance policies, can provide huge benefits to the taxability of that estate later on, uh, or to pay the taxes. What are your thoughts of a successful business owner, uh, farmer, uh, someone who's gonna leave behind something like that, to use a whole life insurance policy to take care of those types of expenses? Yeah, you know, Josh, right now uh, in the country is if you are over a certain estate level, you're going to be taxed at 40% of that estate. It's going to it's going to be taken by the IRS and the government. And so to protect those assets for farmland or a company that you don't want your your the next generation or your spouse to have to sell, protecting it with something liquid uh, is very beneficial. And so using a whole life policy that you know is going to be guaranteed and in place as long as you pay the premium every year 
is a great strategy to protect that ten million dollar sure. piece of land or company from having to be liquidated and, and not being able to pass on to the next generation. And so it will be expensive, but it's money well spent in the sense that uh, you can protect that asset sure. and keep the IRS from getting that specific sector. They're still going to get some money, but it's likely just going to sure. come from the life insurance policy. And that's a real generalization uh, of how things like this can work. But I think it's a great point. And I think a lot of folks, especially my, we live in an agricultural area, are farmers. We know many farmers who are multimillionaires, you yeah. and I do multi-millionaires with that much cash. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, most of their, their net worth is tied up in real estate in terms of farmland or property or uh, farming implements. Yeah, uh, but the IRS doesn't take farmland as payment, do they? No, they don't. Or, or a tractor. <laughs> they take cash. And that's pretty much the only thing they take in, uh, in exchange for a tax bill. Mm-hmm. Regardless of how good intention any family is, you have six months at most to pay your, your estate tax. Uh, life insurance fixes that or helps fix that. Is that correct? Yeah, that is that is totally correct. And so that's that's again why these tools, life insurance in general, should be utilized and 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 can be. And depending on your situation, a lot of different options make sense. Great.